right, I'm back out here with the 300 WSM Vampire. Um, I was gonna try to do a seating depth test. It is, there's like 25 to 30 mile an hour wind. I didn't pay, I didn't pay attention when I left the house. Um, I'm gonna shoot a couple. If I start seeing a bunch of horizontal, I'm gonna stop and we'll try it again a different day. This was not a good idea and I don't recommend it to anybody. Uh, it definitely can and will affect group size and make it very difficult to figure out what your load is. Group wasn't great. There wasn't a ton of horizontal. Uh, average of 29.01 at 18. Extreme spread. We're gonna go ahead and uh, shoot. I'll shoot these and I'll let it cool. Forty. Okay, that that was horizontal. Um, this is why you shouldn't be doing this. Oh, let this cool a while. It probably had a quarter minute uh, vertical, and then probably. about three quarter minute horizontal it could have been wind but uh, it's not it's not where I expect it to be I expect it to be on either side of where we did the seating depth test so um, I'll look at all the data we may have to reshoot some groups but I think I'm going to continue we won't get hung up on emotions we'll let the target talk to us and if I don't like anything I see um, those first two groups were mostly horizontal uh, like like I said this is not a great idea to be shooting out in the wind, but I would really like to get this dialed in before our Kansas whitetail season so I could use it. Twenty nine twenty three. Twenty nine 
28. That one had vertical. That's definitely not it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next. sucked. I'll let this cool down. It might have been those first two. They've got horizontal, not a lot of vertical. These are triangular shaped groups. I can that's the load right there uh, it does have a little bit of horizontal and I know I've said this a hundred times during this video it's really stupid that I'm shooting out here um, I would not be doing it if I didn't only have a couple days off of work to actually do load development for my for our Kansas whitetail season I really would like to kill something with this um, the winds are gusting from 20 to 30 miles an hour. I just ran that into a calculator. That could up, have up to a half minute of horizontal displacement from peak to value, or peak to the low. I don't have any wind flags. I'm not great at wind, reading wind flags anyways. Um, so this really doesn't make sense. But I can tell you, that's probably right at a half minute. It's all vertical. No, no, hor or it's all horizontal, no vertical um, to speak of. But uh, I'll come shoot it just to make sure. But uh, I do think that's probably going to be the load. So, 
we'll look at the target and uh, like I said we'll we'll try to well, we will confirm it I'm very anal about this I'm not just gonna go shooting animals with I have to have trust in my equipment and my load uh, anyone who knows me or has been watching my videos knows knows that probably a little bit on the the excessive side but um, I control what I can control because you can't always control the conditions the best wind reader is gonna make a mistake and uh, I want to keep my loads and groups and rifles shooting as small as I can so that when I make a bad wind call or the wind picks up in the middle of a shot uh, I have as much leeway as I can get okay here are the results from the seating depth testing we've got uh, 15 off on the far right we got 20 off 25 off 35 off and out of those the 15 off was the most accurate the OCW was shot at 20 off so I, I really thought based on the OCW that we would be one way or the other five thousandths on the other one of the uh, sides of it so 15 off or 25 off and I'm gonna go ahead and try five off but I'm not liking this combo in this rifle so I'm probably gonna do a pressure test within 570 and 230s and RL 23 with 215s so I think that'll be the next. I will, like I said, do five thousandths off the lands eventually just to see what that's doing. Again, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. Head on over to longrangeonly.com. Hit me up on the forum. Tell me what you like, what you don't like about these videos. Uh, we appreciate you watching them. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Turn on notifications so you can know when I've got a new video coming out. Thank you.